<laughs> I just had a look, that's the next chapter. <laughs> Hello inhabitants of the World Wide Web, how's life? So last week I started reading My Immortal Grandfather by Kyle Ron on archiveofourown.org. Chapter one was amazing. It's, a, it's the parody of the My Immortal fan fiction. So I recommend you going to read that. Link is in the description as always. Anyway, this is chapter two of My Immortal Grandfather where we left off. Hux just called Kylo Ren and he stopped talking to Ebony Raven Darkness, dementia, way, I don't know. Chapter two. The next day I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin. Hux told me that I need to sleep in a coffin in order to be gothic. And took off my giant Darth Vader t-shirt that I used for pajamas. Instead I put on my black shirt, black pants, black robe and black cloak. And put on the other gloves for a nice finishing touch. Just as I was putting on my mask, Hux woke up and grinned at me. He ran his hand through his red hair and opened his blue eyes. So, you and that girl you talked to yesterday, an OB. Oh my god, did it, is that a typo or did I just completely miss one of the best jokes of the entire story? Oh, it was a typo. I'm, I'm kind of upset now. I really wanted Ebony to have her name changed to Anobi because then I would have fit so well. Oh, I am so upset. <laughs> I don't look it, but I am devastated. So, you and that girl you talked to yesterday, Anobi? That's the one, do you like her? No, I f***ing don't, I screamed as we walked out of the Starkiller base. Yeah, right. Hux yelled, Hux, I will blow out your f***ing planet if you keep- Oh, hi Ebony, <laughs> I said shyly. She was standing in front of me, looking very emo in her black leather dress, a pentagram, pentagram necklace, combat boots and black fishnets. Oh my god, it's Kylo Draco! Oh my god, I think Kylo Ren's Draco Malfoy! Oh my god, I love this too much! I love this way too much! Hi, she said flirtily. Guess what? What? I said depressively. The Cantina Band is having a concert in Tatooine. Oh my f***ing Vader. <laughs> I screamed. I did not give two shits about the Cantina Band, but Tatooine was where my, gra my grandfather, I mean Darth Vader, was from. I just could not let such an opportunity pass. Well, do you want to go with me? Ebony asked. I gasped. Chapter 3. On the night of the concert, I put on my black boots, black pants, black jacket and black robe with a black cloak on top of it. <sighs> I think I'm so done with hearing the word black now. <laughs> I was wearing my black gloves and a black mask. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> then I felt a, li a little depressed, so I threw a ten temper tantrum. I prayed to Darth Vader for strength. So that I was ready to go to the concert. I mean, to Tatooine. I went outside and Obi was there, was waiting there in front of her freighter. She was wearing a black lace-up, she was wearing black lace-up boots with the high heels underneath them were ripped fishnets. She wore black leather mini dress with, this cor with all this corset stuff on the back and front. She had matching, matching fishnet in her arms. She straightened her hair and make it look, made it look all spiky. Hi Ebony, I said gothically. Hi Kyle, she replied lovingly. We walked into her freighter. The license plate said 666 on it. Do they even have license plates? Who knows, Ebony's had. We flew to Tatooine. On the way, we listened to Darth Vader's the- <laughs> On the way, we listened to Darth Vader's theme. We smoked cigarettes and drugs. And then we went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down. Anyways, Darth Vader is so f***ing hot. I said to Anobi while we were moshing. Suddenly she looked sad. Let's go and explore more of Tatooine. Maybe we can find the house he lived in. I said. We crawled back into her freighter, but Ebony did not go looking for Darth Vader's house. Instead she flew it to a forest in Naboo. I love this. I, I know I said it last week, but I absolutely adore this. It's amazing. Anyway, right, so next week we're going to be on the next chapter. I think they've tried, they've they've redone the entire My Immortal story. I hope they have, because this is just amazing. This is ah, oh, this is probably my favourite one, and that's that's only because of, like nostalgic reasons. As a lot of you know, I'm quite an internet dinosaur, so I was around about a year or two after this was published. The, the, the original was published, so I remember reading it, 
and being like, oh, this is so ridiculous, but I love it. I think that was that was the second uh, fan fiction I ever read was My Immortal. So, oh, I love it. So, it's so amazing. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Thanks for your time. Have a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you real soon next week with the next chapter. Oh, man, this is going to be brilliant. Bye. <laughs> Inhabitants of the World Wide Web, how's life? So unfortunately today we are saying goodbye to the wonder. From what I can gather, what little comedic talent I have seems to shine through when I do this video, so let's do one of those. I'm turning into one.